everyone, it's Beaching Nails. Today I am going to do an experiment with these Bunder Monster nail decal stickers. They're kind of like nail vinyls, just a different name that they use. And I'm going to be using the hearts with the arrows and then just all of the hearts. I have not tried this yet before, what I'm about to attempt to do. So if it fails in the video, it fails in the video. We know it doesn't work. What I did was I applied one coat of fresh paint. This is called coconut. Actually, I applied two coats on my center two fingers here. I did put a top coat on once everything dried. And I'm going to be using acrylic paints. I'm going to be using cuticle oil and a couple of different art brushes here. I went ahead and I have my paints all here. I have white, a light pink, and this is actually called Honeysuckle Pink. And we're gonna first try these arrows with the hearts. I don't know about you, but I sometimes have a hard time getting these off of the sheet. So I'm gonna cheat and use tweezers. I'm just going to use a brush just so those tweezers don't stick to it and I want to make sure everything lays flat because I, I don't want polish to seep underneath because if it does then it ruins the whole design you won't be able to see it. I have large curves in my nails so it's very important for me to make sure everything is laying down flat. Looking good. Now, because I am using, I'm gonna get a paper towel here. Because I am using acrylic paint for easy cleanup, I could use uh, Bundle Monsters Poly Peel, but when the acrylic paint dries on it, it gets flaky and if my base is still wet, that flakes can end up in my wet paint and that's not the look I'm going for. So I am just going to crank my pen up and I'm going to load the oil around. Okay, so I have my color palette here and I'm gonna start out with white because my base is kind of a creamish color. So I'm gonna apply some white down first and then put acrylic paint over that. So I'm just going in my paint very lightly. This doesn't really matter which direction you go in. And yes, I could have started out with a white base, but I didn't want the background white. I wanted the background cream. I also want to see if this would work. If I get too much smearing, when I peel this decal off, then another way around it could be with like a makeup sponge. and that would just blot on top of it. But again, the white on there is just so my acrylic paints will definitely pop. So I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit. I sometimes cheat, acrylic paint dries very fast, but I will take a, a bigger plate and fan it just to speed up the process. Okay, so we're pretty much dry here. 
I'm going to take a stiff brush and I'm going to go back into my color palette here and I'm going to go half in the light and half in the dark. I'm pushing down just to make sure that the tape is not coming up. And I want the light side closest to the cuticle. With this technique here, if you work it too much, you will continue to pull paint off. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to take a detail brush. because I really don't want to do two layers because I'm afraid for this to set even longer and dry. And I'm just going to start making some random swipes. Okay, here's the big reveal. Do you think it worked? Do you think it bled through? I do have a backup plan, either way. If it worked, great, we'll do that on this one. If not, I got a different way to start this one off. Very sticky. worked. Very impressive. I'm impressed that that worked using a brush. And it didn't bleed through. My accent nails. That's just with the top coat on. Before I matte, I like to do a top coat, then I'll matte. Like, I'll probably end up matting this one. Let's go ahead and let's do this nail now. <laughs> 